out of curiosity, what did you learn? What was the message from well, ketamine? Well, you know, one very simple lesson that you learned from both ketamine and from salvia is that this is possible. Just, oh, that's possible. This is a thing my brain can do that I would have never known otherwise. I would have never known that I could enter this abstract world of tunnels and um, strange sort of digital visions and a, re a sort of waking dream reality. Just the fact that that is possible, that you can administer this small molecule that blocks a certain protein channel in your brain and suddenly your reality is completely changed. It's just an amazing little lesson. I think just knowing what it does is important in and of itself, even if you don't learn a lesson like, for example, sometimes with with cannabis or with um, psychedelics, I'll often have these, you know, very basic thoughts like, I really love my parents and I should be grateful for what great parents I have. And I'll tell them that I love them because I'm so happy that they exist and I understand that they won't always be alive and I need to tell them that they're great, something like that. And that's a nice, good revelation and that will improve your life or, or you know, be kind to your friends and sh tell your friends that you love them because one day they'll be dead, things like that. But with ketamine, it's not necessarily a lesson like that. It's more of a, at least in my experience, it's typically more of a, this is possible psychologically. There is a, a very bizarre dreamlike realm that you can enter with a certain type of drug and just be aware of this. And, and then you have also additional understanding of other people. It's almost like having visited uh, a country and you and anyone else, you can say, oh, you've been to Madagascar? Yeah. Antananarivo? Yeah, that's interesting. What did you do there? Where did you stay? You know, it, it's just, it's like, it, it's added to your psychological vocabulary that this is a, a state that exists.